A picture is worth a thousand words, but a narcissist picture in particular is worth a million words. Why is that, you may ask? Well, their pictures say it all. Their pictures show us the dark, deep, hidden aspects of their personality. If you were to observe their photographs very closely, you will notice they're fake to their core. They are disingenuous, inauthentic, and force themselves to take pictures with those they do not actually like. They also create this aura of being very spiritual, very charming, calm, connected, or hot, for that matter, to appeal to you. They are nothing but a bunch of masks, which is the reason why in today's episode, we are going to talk about this in much more depth and detail. Hi, I am Danish, a psychologist and a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. Welcome to my channel. In this episode, we are going to talk about five ways pictures can reveal a narcissist's dark side. If that sounds interesting and you're eager to know what all of this is about, please subscribe because your subscription to this channel helps in spreading awareness about narcissistic abuse. Before we begin, here's a quick announcement. I am doing an online workshop for all children who were raised by narcissistic parents. I'm doing it on May 4 and 11th. In this workshop, I'll teach you how you get traumatized as a child by your narcissistic parent, how you carry the trauma into your adulthood. And then you'll also learn how to heal your deep core wounds so that you stop attracting narcissists for good. If you want to enroll now at a discounted price, Click the i button above or the link in the description of this episode. Number one, they force themselves into your pictures in the early stages of the relationship. Love bombing or idealization. For what reason do they do this? To establish maximum control. To send messages across that you are now their object, their toy, that they are going to play with. They may be seen with a big fat yet a fake smile on their face demonstrating happiness about entering your life parasitically. They would want your family to see you with them. They would force you to post them on your social media so that people step back and they can officially make a call. They can officially say he or she is mine. They do not trust people. So it's almost like saying, I will only trust you if you post a picture with me on your social media. But the irony is they never post your pictures on their social media to make it official. Why would they do that when not posting your pictures uh, keeps all the doors open and makes it seem like they're still single, ready to be mingled with and they can take in as much supply as possible. What makes their pictures clownish is how they quickly shift from being a very happy person when the picture is being taken to being a monster like a black person with no emotions whatsoever. The moment camera is turned off, it does not make sense to you in the beginning, but you're like, oh, maybe that's how they are. Maybe it's normal, but it's not. If you were to look at those pictures now, the pictures that were taken in the law bombing stage, I guarantee you will be able to feel that fakeness, that disingenuousness, that disconnection from you. You will feel that you never felt their presence and you will be creeped out. You won't understand why, but it will give you a very creepy feeling. Drop your experiences in the, in the comments if you agree with me and if you have felt like that. Number two, they would not want to be included in any of your pictures when devaluing you. That is the biggest punishment because now that they have started putting you down, they can't stand being associated with you. They can't stand these pictures going on and about and showing people they are with you. They do not want to demonstrate that togetherness. So what do they do? They can literally push you away or stand at a little bit distance from you when these pictures are being taken. The crazy thing is they would want to be included in every other picture like pictures with your children or other people but not with you. If pictures are taken, let's say during holidays or at great places with you and if you are in that photograph, they will crop it out and post only 
their own selfie on their social media handles. You will notice during the devaluation stage, their smile, the fake smile they showed in idealization stage is now replaced with a smirk. And you can't understand why. It's like somebody is pulling off their cheek and it's like nauseating to say the least. You can't understand why, but there's always going to be either a scary look on their face, disinterested look or disgusted look. Or there is a smirk as if deep down mocking you, belittling you or saying, I got gotcha. you or that huh, what a fool i do not want to do anything with you and you are dying uh, to take a picture with me wow i am so important i'm explaining it this way because trauma bond trauma bonding can make you do horrible things things that are all about settling for the bare minimum which in some cases could manifest as just taking a picture with them if not displaying a smirk, they will clearly show annoyance and anger as if they're being forced to do so. They do not want to be included. Just, just be done with it because it does not benefit their ego. It's not about them. It's about everybody. And they're just one of those people who are included in that picture. What does that tell you or tell the narcissist? There is equality. You're like every other person who is standing with you in that picture and they do not like that they have this hierarchical mindset either people are above them or way below them there is nobody standing next to them they do not like that they'll hate it and that's why that annoyance you may also get to see a predatory look on their face i still remember that one picture i still have in which my father is holding my sister under his one arm and me on under the other and there is this predatory, demonic look on his face, as if saying, you are mine. I also have a picture of both of my parents together, in which my father is literally pushing my mother away because he does not want to take a picture with her. And uh, the photograph probably accidentally clicked that. That is clearly what I'm talking about, extreme form of devaluation. They do not want to do anything with you at all because they hate you at this point when devaluing you. Number three, this is about a covert victim vulnerable narcissist. If you were to take a picture of a covert vulnerable narcissist and if this narcissist were to know that you will be sharing it with others or other people will get to see it, then intentionally they will put on a very sad victim-like look on their face like this. It's incomprehensible because minutes ago they would be laughing and the minute you click uh, the, the camera and you take a picture, it's like they wear a mask quite instantly just for that picture. And if the picture is taken as a group picture, then they have to look as the biggest martyr, the biggest victim. How would they be able to do that? by pretending to be really sad in pain so that people ask, what's wrong with you? It's like they send these cryptic messages through their pictures, especially when they know they are going to go around and people will ask questions and then try to call them, consult them and finally enable their victimhood. How can I say this? Well, it's my story. I have seen this all my life with my narcissistic mother who would do this all the time. And guess what I did? I tried to fix it. The moment I would come across a picture in which she looked sad, I would jump in to extinguish a fire I didn't light. I would try to fix her emotions but always failed. Never did I know that it's a failed pursuit. I cannot complete a task that does not have an end. Number four, after discarding you, they will post their pictures with their new source of supply or their family demonstrating they're fine they're okay you were the burden you were the obstacle see you made them unhappy and now this other person it seems like they are happy together they are going to places vacations holidays gifts are included everybody is smiling but what you do not look at or forget to understand that it's just a frame you know a time frame paused on the entire timeline from this entire timeline what you do not f remember is that there is after that picture and there is before that picture who knows what happens and you need to know that they use these pictures to make you feel small because you think well they never posted pictures with me when i was with them why post pictures with the new supply now is she or he a changed person because of 
this new supply? Does that mean I were I was oversensitive? I was too demanding? Of course not. You need to know this is a tactic and they know how to play it well against you. It's like they are still impacted by your growth and they want you to stay stuck by posting these pictures on their social media. Their life is so miserable that they're, they're still focused on your life and they still want you to stay stuck when it should be all about moving on with their new lover or you know the perfect partner they claim them to be. Number five, they intentionally expose their body to hundreds and thousands of eyes to get attention, validation, admiration. Now don't get me wrong, not all those who reveal their body, expose it on social media are narcissists. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that there is a subgroup of narcissists who like to get attention that way. In fact, their entire life is all about maintaining a certain figure, not to be happy about it, about their own body, not to be satisfied with what they have worked so hard for, only to post pictures on social media and vicariously live through the attention they get off of it. If likes go low, if comments fall, the number of comments, they go crazy. That is what triggers their depression and they seek more, they post more, they try new things only to be admired. Now, what does this tell us about their dark personality? They are deeply insecure individuals who are shame avoidance but are driven by shame at the same time. It's their own shame that forces them to post pictures on social media that can get them a lot of attention. That they are unstable, that they depend on the validation they get from the internet which is really unreliable. They do not have a true self and they are always chasing the new hit. Now another variation of the same thing is, and this is nothing to do with exposing their body, this is a lot to do with projecting him or herself as a family man or a woman. The narcissist may continuously post pictures with their family on social media confusing their new supply. How? Well, if you were to look at these pictures and at the same time compare your experience of them with, with what they're posting, you will be confused because you will think, oh, he or she is posting pictures with their family uh, and at the same time being abusive to me. No, I must be wrong about them. He can't be abusive because see, he is doing all this stuff. She is doing all this stuff with his or her family and it looks like they are a loving family. How can he or she be that bad? No, I, I'm wrong. This is how they make you crazy through posting fake pictures and through creating narratives by weaponizing social media. What you do not see behind these family friendly pictures is the monster who terrorizes these uh, family members and kind of sells these images online for attention and for upholding his or her own image. So that was number five, which brings us to an end of this episode. Let me know in the comments which one of these did you resonate with the most. And with that, let's bring this to an end. I'll talk to you in the next one. Until then, as always, let the healing begin and continue.